hello everyone welcome back to my channel again so i'm a little bit late uh, just getting ready and then some setup problems so everything i've laid out that's the bird which i'm going to paint i'm going to paint it on acrylic paper this time because i might use this as a card or frame it any one of them so i before i paint i have an idea exactly what i'm going to do with the painting sometimes some of them they just go in my collection and then they are just there for a long time so now uh, if you are here for the first time uh, please consider subscribing that will help me a lot and then uh, if you are uh, visiting again i hope you will enjoy this painting uh, most of the time i try to choose different uh, um, levels of painting it's not exactly the same all the time so some of them are bird lovers some of them are landscape sometimes next time maybe i'll try to see some uh, still life as well most of the time it will be landscape because that's my main interest although i paint other things but usually i don't teach i don't teach uh, a portrait or i don't teach uh, animals sometimes yes but most of the other things animal portraits uh, landscape seascape all of them i do so so consider subscribing and then uh, let's get started so i have a sketch here the sketch is actually going to be on my website as well the link will i will put that link later so if you uh, if you want that sketch or other you can draw it on your own this is a circle and that's an oval shape most of the birds but depends again where the neck is placed so depending on that you just have to work it out so i have some colors here all the colors that i'm going to use are from uh, winsor newton that's what i'm going to use and some colors are from uh, different ones i'm going to use turquoise from artist loft and then i will be using white because i ran out of uh, winsor newton white so this is uh, Camel. again artist paint all of them are artist paint i have water and then some brushes i might use this or not because depending on the background background is just light green so i might just end up spending too much time i will i might not do that i might do it later and but you can actually follow me on this if i leave it at the bird and then you can follow me on instagram entire painting with the background detail there. Mm -hmm. that's for the larger area and then liner brush one round brush and one uh, filbert brush so that's what i'm going to use for each one of them filbert but that brush actually gives uh, more uh, uh, control over certain shapes here so as you can see those are the ones where feathers i'm going to paint apart from that we'll be just painting straight so let's get started i have some cloth here rag or otherwise some water those are all there before this paint starts drying i didn't spray anything on that so let's just start uh, painting this is not black i've taken graphite gray which is dark in color i could have taken paint paints gray paints gray but you have to keep in mind that uh, you can actually take black but make sure wherever it is dark enough you can actually i should have taken paints gray because that is um, uh, graphite gray is opaque but whereas paints gray was um, uh, transparent so i might have to see some drops of water and add them and try it okay let's uh, try with uh, start with the beak itself i have all the paints here burnt sienna red uh, cadmium yellow titanium white turquoise graphite gray so those are the colors i have so let's just start with uh, the beak i'm not going to take too much because the top of the beak is actually shining so i'll start from there be careful with uh, with the brush so if you spoil it so another thing is if you spoil here any edge you can adjust that by painting the background if you are not planning to paint the background so I suggest you try to manage the edges very, very well. Like I'm doing that background, I will put background anyways later, but the completed painting then otherwise background painting will take longer time. It's just covering the background. So here, while it is wet, 
what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a little bit of white, a little bit of white, and then I'll just put that. I can actually put some blue on that. Okay, let's just take a blue turquoise itself and then that. Right. The bottom one will not. Okay. Let me wash the brush. It's let me take that little bit and uh, it is just a little bit not too much. I need to smudge it. So I don't want that too much of uh, brightness on that. It's just a very light gray you can call it. So I will just manage that and manage the bottom edge with little bit of black so that is just a little bit of uh, shining there you have to make sure you can use even smaller brush if you don't have liner brush so that should be more than enough and then for uh, the outside one what i'll do is i'll just put the uh, because the surrounding of eye is that i hope this should be good enough so catch light is very important so i'm going to put that red here it's not exactly round but uh, let's just see it goes on top of that because the top wherever may depending on eyelid wherever it moves so depending on that you will have less or more here so we'll just follow along with that then go with the black then make sure it's very important because this can actually just spoil the entire thing if you don't do it properly there it is black I will not delete all of that. I think we'll leave it there. And what is missing is just the catch light. Catch light I will put uh, after it. <clears throat> right? Okay. So next, I will not use liner brush. I need to use a little bit bigger brush now. Again, round brush itself, I'm not going to use any of them. This is some old brush because I have other brushes too, but this, this works fine. So as you can see, there is white, there is little bit of bluish turquoise, and then burnt sienna, red, mixed, something like that. So let's just try that one first. Uh, first, let's go with white. So this is where you, you need the background because that white will compete with uh, the paper white. So for now, I am going to make sure this is some rugged edge here so i will just leave it as is okay the reason i have chosen uh, paper is one of the things is the texture little bit dries little bit faster than the canvas and then i'll be able to draw some of those lines so let's take a little bit of that and here and all is actually going to be dark so just take a drop of water most of this if you even do a little bit of dry brush still good see as you can see with that brush i can just get that uh, stroke very dry brush type of thing so then i can actually here i can actually smudge right okay there it goes okay so a little bit I need to smudge with white here, not too much. I will leave it at this because this white will be seen very, very well once I put the background. But uh, that white maybe we might need to put a little bit more white. I will wait for that uh, to dry. In the meanwhile, what we'll do is we'll work on with uh, burnt sienna. Burnt sienna, it looks like burnt sienna and some red. If it is a little bit darker, what I can do is take that little bit graphite gray and add it to that. Yeah, that makes sense. A little bit more. Okay, so again, not much. Let's see, just take a little bit of it. 
and then try to just uh, get those lines these are all just oh, that's what that's how it is just to get those lines you can't go wrong with this anyways so don't worry about it make sure that's just the shape is right that's very important So if I really need some dark here, I can put some dark here to mix it while it is uh, wet. So you just blend it exactly there. Some lines here, some lines there, some darkness is there. So that shape, make sure that that shape is there. So now with the same thing here is a little bit of dark the darkness actually is there so i am actually going to take a little bit of dark and stop there wash my brush take only the burnt sienna which was mixed here uh, we can mix with that now i can actually go with straight line behind so there it is that's the color and here it goes that doesn't have to be sharp edge so make sure that it doesn't have to be sharp edge first of all here the main thing is you have an option what to do with this color so the way i'm actually trying to put uh, these lines even if it goes wrong it looks like it is following the contour of uh, the wings or uh, the feathers right so here it is what i'm going to do here is let me just take i have another paint but let's just take yellow itself that will give me that color anyways mixed with the uh, balenciana like a gold type of color so there is some white there they will so as you can see my strokes are uh, with uh, in the direction of uh, the feather itself take this mix both of them mix both of them so they have to be mixed with that blend blend here itself you go back and forth blend it and when you pull it even if it's dry brushy you can actually see that uh, lines that's the best thing you can do <clears throat> then do that here some white is there that will be only seen when when you put the other color next to that you have to manage with the contrast so let's go with a little bit of white that will not be able to see much don't worry about it that if i only put something darker color next to that i'll be able to see that so you have to wait a while when they reach there <clears throat> if you see something is not going very well again go back with uh, the yellow or brown again again go back brown see that I can actually manage that there itself. Just the dry brush. Right. Let me just wash this and take only brown and try to make sure that I get a little bit of lines on those. It's just application of layers everywhere. So I think i that's good good enough let's go back to my neck again that bird's neck because we don't want to leave it as is as you can see around the eye is darker so what i'll do is i will go with that this is rugged edge again 
and then this gets merged with the darkness so now don't worry anything about it because there is no highlight here as far as i can see so i can safely color this but try not to cover that particular turquoise color there so let's try Okay, that gets merged with that. And and here also, make sure you use round brush or otherwise I'm using a little bit uh, round brush bigger. I think this size is three. So I just want to make sure that here, so rugged edge again. Let me just put, I think if you take too much paint again, it might be difficult. So just manage this more. Most of it is like, uh, dry brush so that should be good enough okay here also is the same thing so we could take that make sure you don't spoil but uh, red we need to put uh, catch light in that so so that we don't forget that's the one if i really really want i can actually put some gray type shining let me wash the brush go back with a little bit dark and again smudge that it should not look like a patch but i have just given it some shining that's it i'm not going to put too much here as you can see you can go too much detail with this but i don't i'll try to make sure that it's not they're just dots okay so that should be enough <clears throat> we need a catch light now that it's dried i'm going to take a little bit of white just a touch of white at the tip of the brush and then put just one dot right that should be more than make sure that you turn your brush so that you get uh, if something goes wrong then you'll have to come back and uh, put that color again so we'll see maybe that red we need to put or otherwise it looks fine for me so that's okay now again getting back to yellow at the bottom little bit brown you can add but again that will compete with the brightness here not worried so let's just put yellow and then see there is white line there don't want that there is black line is also there so what we'll do is first let's put uh, this right and also a little bit of uh, let it dry for some time because i need some uh, details there so what we'll do here is let's go with little bit turquoise that side is blue or otherwise i don't know i will i might use blue or just the turquoise everywhere but this has to be mixed with little bit of white it's not that right okay so let's just see yeah uh-huh so now here there is black but you have to keep in mind okay let's just see we'll manage that edge again okay a little bit dark is there down part is the one which is uh, more there is i will stop here itself then we'll continue that later first let's fix that one let's take a little bit of uh, that one the birds there are many many strokes mm. many strokes many strokes correct yes you take the very fluffy one for this mm. of course so i've added some more white here so when i put surrounding it looks good here are some lines i need to put but i'm just thinking that can be managed okay so here is the blending part even if it is line so you will be able to see just like that so now let's do something else so now let's go back to black i washed dried my brush it is more of like dry brush again i am going to take that black which goes from here stipple it i think if you stipple it uh, you should be able to get it right 
so when you stipple it what will happen here then down pull it a little bit so it has to be with uh, with that so that is there and then the same thing happens with uh, the top either i can pull that uh, what is that uh, yellow into that or otherwise i can just do it that way. i think that should be enough okay let me try this so that's the neck part actually you don't want to mess too much around with that let me just put some white here and also actually okay let's just see let me just put some white here and that white actually creates that a little bit rugged edge on uh, the upper side so make sure that it is just there and then mix with yellow right just to give that little bit of contrast i'm going to just take some little bit of uh, uh sienna and mix with that so i will have a little bit of different color here right okay yeah Some lines. This is where you might actually spoil it if you don't do it properly. Just make sure that you have enough patience to do this. Right. Okay. So then again, I'll go back with this and then maybe try to bring some of this yellow on top. Just some yellow on top. Okay. So this white is competing with that. So let it be. So if anything is there, I can actually paint around. Then that should be good enough. So let's just see. Now let me just wash my brush. This one comes on top. So let me just uh, paint. Uh, paint this then i'll come back with that it goes up until here so which is the very very light like you, you can see you can actually paint with a bigger brush and get it done the reason why i'm uh, going with this is that uh, those are feathers so i should be if i make any mistakes i'll still be able to see those lines that's exactly what I'm following. So most of the birds, if you are planning, I can, like I said, I can go with much of a detail, but this should be enough, I think, for now. Right? Okay. So then here, if you see, there is the same color is there, but there is some greenish color. So what I'll do is I'll take this turquoise itself and mix this some kind of greenish i get anyways there itself so here i'm going to mix with that and and also go back with my one sienna right okay so let's just do it so i have to mix with that and uh, here i should be able to make sure that it is differentiable from uh, that part to that part right okay that should be enough i'll take some little bit white too so i know that I can actually, and then wash my brush i will blend this this green and a little bit of uh, brown so it doesn't have to be like a sticker like 
okay this one i'll give it some lines and leave it there as far as i can see something dark is also there i will just a little bit of darkness Let's put darkness under. Depends on how much you want to go. Okay. Should be enough. Okay. So there is that color. So now next, what I would say is we go layer by layer. But before that, there is some other kind of uh, orange type. A greenish type, I think. I guess somewhere here. So we will put that in between. Take a drop of water. Okay, here. Just put that right to the yellow. Right to the turquoise. Just like that. Like some lines, black lines, we need to put somewhere. So we will put that. So now is the question whether I use round brush or otherwise my filbert brush. Let me just try this round brush itself. Let's go with uh, turquoise and white. We need a lot of it. I can actually take blue. But I will just keep it turquoise itself. I have blue, which blue, cerulean blue. I have cerulean blue, but I think I'll just stick to this itself. You have to keep in mind that dark lid is darker. So depending on that, you need to make sure that your value is a little bit uh, lower compared to the value what you're looking for. So here we'll go layer by layer, and then we'll just uh, put some details later there there intentionally i'm leaving that uh, place for shadow of each feather this side is white so i am going to put that i'm going to put a little bit here too. there Let's give it there too. This will be easy part, so you don't have to struggle too much. I think it's just the repetition of everything. What a uh, little bit dark is there, so we will just work with this first. Just going to go ahead with all the same color here and then we will see what to do. Okay, so now the same thing I am going to get not too dark because I don't want to see this is where I would say if you can smudge it, you have to blend this here. So let's see how that blending works here that is the underneath blending again that is underneath you know what this bird is called as bee turk it's bees <laughs> yes that's what they said that is what it says there is some darkness that we will not worry about it so let's just figure out what to do with this watch before they start going ugly so when, now when let's try, try here again this is a full concentration yeah very important right? one the bottom one no you can fix it it's not that you can't fix it it's a side thing you can fix no here also you can fix so i'm just blending with the same color so i know that 
there is underneath is the blending soft shadow all of them soft shadow so underneath 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 any highlight will put it don't worry about it because that's not just one layer i always keep saying the same thing correct one layer you put doesn't mean that it's you are done with the painting so make sure you do it very fast because so it then when we come with the filbert brush we will try to manage all that so here is again little bit of uh, that little bit of here i think i need to put some line here to show that right again go back with this manage here again that i am going to go with this and just make it colorful later once i reach here some green and all i'll put just together so let it be just that right again blending underneath so this when we put highlight for each one of them at that time it will be you are able to see but i am still not exactly happy with uh, how it looks so we'll work with that and here also is their line so i can't take just I can actually put that line here. We will put these lines later. I don't want to. Now, for now, let's take that and little bit that. Keep this here for now. That mixture is there. And then the mixture of that turquoise and white. These are the turquoise and white. Okay, let's add a drop of water. So next is again it's the same thing here i will actually go with that leave some space there while it is wet now i am actually going to go one by one put that blend it then and there itself so as you can see i already have that right then again go with this portion again some lines are there we need to put we have to be very careful with that okay okay so here is that i can go a little bit dark here is the main thing make sure that you actually show that there is another one yes so here is uh, the other one okay there it's done Okay, now this time I don't have anything here. I will just let it be there. Now, take some more here itself. We need to, there is some darkness is there. We need to put that one as well. We will try that just in, a, in some time. First, let's uh, manage this. Uh, uh, is feathers first then we'll see okay i think i'm able to see all of them all of them but uh, to me they are still not uh, perfect so we will take that part here that green was there this is where actually you can just go crazy with this because as long as you can show darkness and light and uh, not enough See there, that, and again, uh, what I'll do is I will just take this and draw some lines here. That way, I know I can actually blend with those. Okay, wash my brush, take only that color, a little bit of white, a little bit of this. While it is still a little bit wet, try to get those lines if you can you have to be very very depending on what surface you are painting so you have to be very careful with that what you are painting how it's actually going to react on that surface in this case i have taken uh, acrylic paper so my 
experience might be entirely different than if you are painting on canvas. So I'm going to leave it here and make sure that I have some I need some darkness just underneath otherwise I won't be able to show that shadow part here. There. Let's blend that. Right. So if anything now what I would say is take that black and take whatever color we have here. It's just not too black, I think. Okay. So before I do that, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to take my filbert brush. This is where I will uh, show you how I'm going to use this filbert brush. Let's just take this reverse. I will take a little bit of white and a little bit of just a touch of turquoise, just a touch of turquoise. It's more white. So if I touch, take this, or the tip of this, what I want is may dry brush again. So I want you to get that, only that side, the edge. Let's just see how it looks. Yeah, better. Not too much, like I said, not too much. That highlight actually right. makes more sense here. Right a bit. Filbert brush actually has that. If not, you can actually try just with uh, your uh, Just use your side of the filbert brush. Make sure that your filbert brush is like very sharp edge. Only then you will have luck with getting that edge right. Okay, so I think I'm happy with what is there. Now let's go with liner brush. This is where I was talking about. So as you can see, I've added uh, two, three drops of uh, water here. So although it is just a little bit of uh, dry brush, but it's not inconsistency. So you have to keep in mind. So there are certain things that you have to keep in mind. Here, some lines are there. I'm not going to put too much of detail there. There. Okay, and then again, a little bit of darkness under. There, again, a little bit more here again. That's the color of for those wings but the darkness I need to get that otherwise I might uh, lose okay so now what I'll do here is as far as I can see there is a little bit of darkness and lines are there so I'm going to put some lines here okay Okay, 
let's add one more drop to this because I need uh, crisp lines so that I can load my brush properly. Then there is greenish something is there, but I'm not going to worry about it. I will worry about my line here. Right. And then I will worry about my line here too, a little bit. And I will worry about my line here. So it is rugged edge, so you just have to make sure that that line, right? Okay, so next, what else is left? So some more lines here and there, thin lines, don't spoil it. If you feel that it's too much, just lift it off. Very thin lines, as you can see, that liner brush actually works very well for that. All right. Okay, so then here's some lines. Okay, then next coming to the bottom. So here actually I have a straight line on this feather and then a little bit dark at the end. Right. And then again, these ones in the middle of uh, the feather, you will see that. So I have to make sure that I am actually drawing that. Then some more lines for the other feathers. Right, okay, so then I need to put, if you remember I had mentioned here, I'm not going to put anything during that time. So that is the time now that I need to make sure it's tight enough. So that's where it is. Let's leave it as is. I think I've done enough. So let's go back with uh, with uh, the foot with again same thing again. So that's where you can like this. This is what it is. That's it. We can put some lines there, but let it dry first. In the meanwhile, there, right? Okay, in the meanwhile, what we'll do is anything anywhere highlight we have missed on the head here. No, I will just leave it as I have not do too much of. Uh, Okay, so next, what I'm going to do here is light is from top, considering that, then uh, this one should be at the bottom. Uh, just a straight line, some strokes, just some effect for the branch, right? And take that darkness itself, put some here and there, and here and there. Okay, that's done now take only white you can mix that with uh, that one but it's already wet so i'm going to mix it just on top of this here itself first apply that white then you try to mix with that it's just blend then and there itself you don't want any so you will know light to dark just to get that effect right there itself okay just take a little bit white Looks like that is straight, so I can take a little bit dark and make it look as well. Right. Blend it there itself. So if you feel that highlight is not enough, wash your brush. Go back with white. Just put some highlights here and there. Make sure that you get the texture. That's the very important thing.
so now that it's there let's take a little bit of uh, white with liner brush and just put some lines here actually that lines for that that's enough those are just the foldings of that I can put berries, leaves, anything. I like I said, I can leave it at this, or those I can actually have a background. My intention is to have a background because this actually has to be brighter. Only then I'll be able to see. So let's uh, try to paint some background. I think I will paint it. Just ten minutes. Take some time and then paint it. So at least you guys will be able to see. But only thing is, I don't have any tape at the border because I'm going to trim it later. So for this, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take green. I think that green should be enough mixed with uh, some yellow, some Cooper's green. Again, I will take Cooper's green and this green is chromium oxide green. I just have it. Um, I didn't buy that anymore. I just have it for a long time. I use it for certain purposes just like this. And I will, what I'll do is gold ochre. I will mix gold ochre. It's just a blending. I am not looking for a smooth background. That's the reason. So let's just take bigger brush. I think smaller brush if it is needed, we can do that. Okay. So let's just take uh, that enough a little bit water so this is opaque this is a transparent uh, gold ochre is also opaque opaque gold ochre so here what i'm going to do here is uh, this is what i have so i don't want to spoil the background uh, make sure that anything which you felt that it was not Edge was not correct. This is the time that you can actually go ahead and fix that edge. Here, as you can see, I can actually make those lights. That's where I will see that instead of doing that, I can actually have the lines here itself. It's done. See, you don't have to, or otherwise, you have to pull these lines that side. So, I'm not going to pull the turquoise light. I am going to just use this itself as my lines for the feathers. Yeah. Okay. The reason why I didn't stick this paper to the board is that like i said one is i have in my mind what i'm going to frame this or how i'm going to put it on my website and the second one is that uh, you have to be I'm extremely to, careful extremely extremely so there's one wrong move just go bunkers yeah. i don't 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 if it goes on the body i will think no, that's where the edge is done correctly. First, you do maybe like three centimeters of the edge, and then you can go to <laughs> mm. Okay, so uh, that is the reason I said I'm actually going to put the background something like that. Don't make the background too dark, other and not like sorry, don't make the background too light, otherwise, the bird will not pop up. Mm. That's the idea. Make yeah. it a dark background, very deep. The deeps of the ocean. Mm -hmm. As you can see, that's very, very abstract. I'm not going to put too much here because I'm going to trim this, this side. I will still follow the same thing here, this side too. Again, do the same thing here too. So now you can see that uh, the tree trunk is actually more popping than than it was before
just do stippling because that way I actually dry brush stippling whatever background. So you can actually have any color here and there. If you decide not to put uh, background, it's up to you because I will trim this and uh, convert this into a card which will be available on my website. What I can do is at back, you can also put a background of the sky and the sun, so the next sunset, something like that you can also Yeah, you can. What is that? You have many options. Let branch flying in there. Yes. Maybe when you're doing that, you might want to be using a smaller brush for all those little details to take care of. That is just the edge. It's okay. Happened to me many times when it's going to set the background like this. Mm -hmm. uh, you okay. go on top of the bird and you know. The other option would have been uh, gray paper. Gray paper is good. So, oh, but no, gray paper is good. So, then what happens is you don't have to paint any background. Yet. Now, if you use black paper and if you use opaque colors, maybe it also might be good. Yeah. Hmm? Black paper and if you use opaque colors. And then you have to make sure that bird is actually going to be colorful. You mean colorful? No, on the black paper, yeah, opaque color actually has to be there, and not all of them have opaque colors. Okay, yeah, but still, yeah. if we have opaque colors on black paper, we can do it. Yeah, maybe, yeah, we can do it. You have to be very careful with the uh, layers. How many layers you need to put to get that? Layers, even in watercolor, you need to know how many layers. This is where I'm just going to, this is the background, like I said, my idea is entirely different. If you don't like it, don't paint uh, the background because I'm going to trim this. I feel like background takes so much time. Yeah, what to do, even if it is canvas also, it takes time. Not, time, Not paint. smooth blending. Huh? Paint, paint, it takes lots of time. Yes, 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 it takes a lot of time. You can take 25 years and you will not the background. Mm -hmm. Just the abstract background. I am going to turn this into a card. So, if you feel that this is all just uh, not good for you, stop there. Just the bird. There, there are two reasons. One is that I have an idea what I'm going to do, and the next one is that. Uh, the background contrast will make the bird pop up because or otherwise like I said I should have gone ahead with uh, uh, some gray color paper then what would have happened is uh, I could have left it as is So that's it because on top I'm not going to use this because this is where I'm going to trim that. 
just want to make sure here I'm going to I might be needing because this pull is uh, there is a tail which goes that side so I have to keep that in mind let me just take a little bit of uh, gold ochre a bit of gold ochre now you can see the neck is actually much much better compared to here uh, because I'm trying to as you can see the reason why I'm putting this here so make sure it is like light against dark dark against light you have to be just good with that here there is dark so i'm going to put a little bit of light color but i still i still must match this abstract background no smooth blending nothing with brush strokes all of it because i'm going to cut this somewhere here i will not use that in entirely You can see this uh, once this is done as a card i will put it on instagram even here i will post it anyway you, you, you are actually able to see here itself but once this is cut so we will actually see something different I think that should be good enough. So I'm not going to do anything else. Is there anything that uh, is not giving contrast? Yeah. Good enough. So if I cut this along, it should be good. I will leave it at that. I think I'll leave it here itself so i hope you all enjoyed like i said this is my going to be my card if i actually cut it that's what it is going to look like if i am going to put that here so anyways let me just give you an idea exactly what is going to happen if i do it this way and then let's just take some papers here okay i'm going to cover this i think i'm going to cut it till here and I'm going to cut it till here. And this will be somewhere there. So now you can see that actually it makes more sense with the white uh, border. That bird actually looks good. So uh, that is what uh, is my cutting going to be. Once that is done put it on instagram anyway so i hope you enjoyed if you have if you haven't sub subscribed please subscribe and then um, hit that like button share with your friends and family and then uh, yeah and then uh, i will see you next week again subscribe to bye our bye. channel if you like thank you, you. Mm -hmm. see you next sunday